My video for February the 17th, 2019 is video number 2,999. The title is Generation of Vipers, Tares Sown with Wheat. As I see it, those who are not a bit confused by what seems to be happening in the world must have their heads in the sand. If the Bible is to believe to be believed at all, we will see that Jesus warned us that the Pharisees were a generation of vipers, offspring of the devil. These were the tares sown in with the wheat, and they are supposed to be left alone until harvest time. Some see that as the age of Aquarius which is in transition now, or is it? As I see it, Piscean age mentality is fighting for its life, trying to hold on to vestiges of their fake power structure. I say fake because it is built on deception, lies on top of lies. It may not seem unsustainable to those entrenched in its machinations, but if there really is a loving creator, truth must prevail. The foundation of the Piscean Age is the corruption of commerce, politics, and religion, the mingling of lies with truth. Peace is impossible as long as the old structure stands. The burning question for me and many others is simple. What will bring down, or what will bring the cabal down, so that an era of love and peace can be ushered in for humanity to finally be liberated? When, in experiential reality, will this happen? <laughs> yes, I, I continue to struggle with this, as many others do. And I try my best not to put my head in the sand, as it seems like many do. Many still are convinced that the Bible is an un the unadulterated word of God. And yet Jesus himself warned us that there would be lies coming forth. Now, the Pharisees were the literalists the fundamentalists of the Jewish thing, and, that, and the fundamentalists were the problem. <laughs> I know fundamentalist Christians aren't going to like that, but that, they were the problem. And when, the, uh, when this warring tribe from uh, southwest Russia, or the area, southwest Soviet Union, whatever you want to call it, that area, they were given the choice. They were a warlike tribe, and they were given a choice, either become Muslims or Christians, because that was the, they were the two warring factions. They imported the Pharisees and became Ashkenazi Jews. In other words, they were Jews by uh, assimilation or whatever you want to call it, but they were not born Israel. They, they had no connection whatsoever to Israel. And the majority of the Jewish population on the planet are Ashkenazi Jews, not Sephardic Jews or Sephardic Jews. This is something that most people don't understand. And that's why the nation of Israel is an anathema. It was not supposed to come back till Shiloh comes and of course, when Shiloh comes, there will be peace. There won't be war against the Muslims and, and the Arabs and, and all of the f various factions that still exist in the Middle East and around the world. These would all be overshadowed by a loving presence that would ultimately produce peace. But the problem is we don't communicate with each other. We don't we don't understand and we're not able to rightly divide scriptures 
And when I say scriptures now, I'm not just talking about the Old or New Testament that we call the Bible, because there's an apocrypha and, and there's a whole bunch of books that have been left out of the Bible that were written in the same time frame. There was a whole culture called the Essenes that were uh, peace-loving people, and Jesus was said to be an Essene uh, by some. Is that true? I don't know. But the Bhagavad Gita and others were also had a mix. All religions have a mix of good and evil. All of them, truth and error, error, <laughs> are all mixed together. And so it requires the gift of discernment. Now, discernment, again, as I keep saying, is not judgment. It's looking at something and saying, is this loving? Now, the practice, unfortunately, of much, not all, much of Ashkenazi Judaism, m much of that has pedophilia built into it. It's a corruption of the infants from their youth. And this is a, an ancient practice that has been going on for a long time. Obviously, if it's ancient, it's been going on for a long time. And it's still going on. And this has the potential of being the Achilles heel to bring down the Piscean age, if you will, to bring down the power structure of the Vatican, of the city of London, and of Washington, District of Columbia, or the District of Columbia. These are the three city states that have created corruption in the, in the spiritual communities, if you will. They have created corruption in the monetary system, and they have created corruption in the military system. So everything, politics, religion, everything is touched by it. Nothing can be excluded from it. And it takes the gift of discerning of spirits. Is it loving? to prey on innocent children. Is that loving? Do you consider it loving? If you do, I would suggest that you need to open your eyes. Now, many of the elite establishment, well, I can't say many, but at least some in the elite establishment seem to be waking up and coming to repentance. There are... Uh, Jewish rabbis that have uh, turned completely around. And there are people in Israel that are trying to stop the slaughter of the Palestinians and, and bring equal rights to everybody. But there are others that are completely on the other side and want to maintain the illusory power structure. And I say illusory because, again, it's built on falsehoods. And falsehoods cannot ultimately prevail, even though they seem to have prevailed for such a very long time in human history. I mean, two millennia, some say that's what it's approximately, each, each age is approximately two millennia in length. And that's a long, long time. That's many generations when the average lifespan, say, is 70 years uh, of age. Now we know that some live longer and some live shorter. That's the average. And we are in the process, it seems sometimes to me, to be waking up. And yet at other times I look at things and I think, are we waking up at all? Because it seems so insane to me. And I want to see the harvest of souls and by harvest of souls, I mean the redemption, where the lights are turned on, where the truth is told, and where the wrongs are finally corrected so that humanity can live in peace and harmony. And there can be true justice with mercy established on earth. Thank you for listening and namaste.